Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an in-depth homestead guide for Homestead Arcana. These are going to be things that you're going to need to know once you start playing this game, how the machines work, where to send out packages, how to sell things, etc. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing that you need to know is what is going on in your HUD screen. So up in the top left hand corner of the screen, we have four bottles of red potion and that is signifying your health. So currently I have four because I have taken a potion to increase that permanently and the bar underneath it is your hunger meter. This is the bane of my existence currently in this game as I feel like I'm constantly needing to cook food to keep my hunger meter up to avoid starvation and an unpleasant gagging sound that happens. Um, it's probably too much information but it does drive me crazy. The little icon that is below that with the witch in it is your spell slot. So currently I don't have any spells um, active but if I were running into the miasma, if I took a potion for a spell, like the ripple potion to use the ripple spell, or if I were using the shadow spell potion, it would show up right there and it would have the timer on it for how long the spell lasts and I could hit that indicated number to make it work. Down below that we have six bottles of blue potion. That is our mana meter or your magic meter. So as you're using your spells, that will deplete. So on the right hand side, of the screen in the top right hand corner we have the quest that I'm currently on which is the restoration of the canyon and this uh, quest for me is to grow the third dust eater so that means I need to get back into the miasma find that third dust eater and basically revive it so that's telling me basically what my objective is right next to that is our compass it appears and I don't really use this as much I imagine that it does does help when you're in the miasma but I've just kind of built my routine and have figured out where I'm going so that doesn't help me too much um, but around the compass is basically your I would say almost like your clock so it's currently nine in the morning you can see that underneath the circle um, the 1037 thing I don't know what that means yet so I'll add that in later once I find out what it means but yeah we do have a clock and it is on a 24 hour I would almost military time where you know at <laughs> basically 1 p.m. it's not going to be 1 p.m. it's going to be 13 2 is 14 that kind of thing so fine by me I, I prefer it that way so that's what that means and then down at the bottom it's uh showing me as I'm on the homestead if I hit this button right here which is f on my key bindings I can move my plants if I'd like to as well but I don't want to do that currently uh, I can also use it on my other items as well. The only thing I have not currently figured out how to do is move my house, but honestly, I'm pretty much okay where it is right here. Uh, this staircase right here is a problem, but I'm just gonna go with it because honestly, I just slapped it down and was just like, whatever. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you need to know is about your mail perch. This item right here, oh, let's exit the lift mode. So typically when you have letters, you will see a crow or a raven on the mail perch and you would click on it, open up your letter. If you wanted to send out a letter, you would click on the bell up here, but currently I've sent out all the letters I can at this moment, so I cannot show you what that would look like, but you would have a list of contacts on the left-hand side. You could click on that contact and then choose the topic that you want to ask about. Um, Abraham's leaving right now, so bye Abraham. But he does have a sign over here that reads basically his hours of operation and who he is. Right next to that, we do have the post hutch. What do they call it? The package hutch. I've been calling it the post box, but it is called the package hutch. And if you have a package, it will be in here and you'll open it up. You'll have usually a short description of what's in it and maybe a little letter. But this is how you're going to be sending out your packages to the townsfolk back home. Um, I was under the impression that you would get paid for some of these things. And I don't know if there's a glitch in the system, but the past couple things that I've and out I have not gotten paid for that's okay because really we're making our money through Abraham that's who we're making our money through 
So there was a letter that I did read that said the whole point of the Homestead Arcana program, which is something that our character is involved in, is to send things back home that they can't get because of the miasma. So that basically reminded me, hey, I'm not going to make much money through the package hutch, but I am supporting the folks back home. So that's what that is about. So currently I've sent out all the easiest items I can. All the things that are left are things that um, I don't have access to create because I have not explored further into the miasma. So I really love that this game is truly like a survival game where you are basically, you have to eat all the time to do anything. Um, it makes all this stuff necessary and kind of keeps you on the grind, so to say. And it keeps you going back into the miasma because you can't send all this stuff out and progress the story until you go back in there. So I love it. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's just, it's challenging, but it's challenging in a way that's not super daunting. Okay, so these are your workstations. We've got, uh, I've got two of each because I accidentally made, I made a couple extra by accident one day. So I just decided to make two of each, which is fine because you cannot make multiple items on a workstation, a cauldron, or a grill. So if you want to be cooking different things at the same time, you're going to need more than one. So I'm okay with that as well. I've got plenty of space for it. Um, it just makes me be a little patient. So we've got um, crafting stations, which are currently available for me to build. There's tons and tons of garden decorations, which you'll find these crafting recipes out in the miasma. You can also buy them from Abraham. Um, I have not made that many of them because currently I'm just saving my resources and I just don't, I don't want them right now because they're mostly decorative, you know. Right now I'm focusing on getting into the miasma and getting the objects that are going to help me send more packages through the mail. So I'm not concerned about those right now. But, you know, at some point when I feel like I've progressed further enough in the story, I'm going to be decorating my homestead like a crazy person. So we also have um, homestead improvements. So we can make storage boxes, which is really good. And I have taken advantage of even with the potion, which upgrades your inventory, you're going to want to have some storage chests. So uh, that can also help with basically inventory management uh and then underneath that currently i only have the recipes for blasting powder and waymakers moving on to the grill you have all types of different foods that you can make in this game i still only have the basic recipes so i have all the baked goods like corn pudding um which we'll talk more about what these items do for you you've got a list of beverages cooked produce and spreads and if you click on any item you can look at the details of it to show what you need the ingredients essentially and you can also mark it as one of your favorites the cauldron is going to give you access to making potions and potions which are essentially tools so we've got potions like ripple spell potion which helps us find enemies and objectives in the miasma shadow spell potion which allows us to sneak past our enemies um, and get through certain areas quicker which I have not used yet and I'm I'm excited to use the tincture of proficiency under tools is basically a potion which is going to permanently increase your spell slot and I believe it can only be used one time is what it says liquid sunlight which is going to help restore your plants health if you've over channeled I have had to use this before we'll talk about over channeling in a minute and mask augmentation which is going to increase the life of your mask so currently I have only used one mask augmentation potion and the first level of your mask allows you to be inside the miasma for three minutes minutes and the second level allows you to be in there for six minutes. Also, I totally forgot to mention if you want to go to sleep and save your progress, you have to go to your tent with the bed or to your house when the lights are on inside. It has to be night to be able to sleep, but that's how you're going to get your progress saved. I learned this the hard way. You can save in the menu by clicking save, 
but I've noticed that anytime I do that, my progress tends to be lost. So make sure that you are sleeping at night every night <laughs> because that's how you save your progress. Also, I did forget to mention we have a wardrobe right here and it allows you to customize the way that your character looks and change your hat for the day and your outfit. And as soon as I get these items unlocked or find a way to craft them, new shoes as well. All right, guys, so we have made it back to the homestead and I'm gonna call this video here. I really hope that you guys are liking this content. I honestly love this game so much. I'm having such a good time playing it and I'm having a great time making content on it. If there's anything else you want me to cover on this game, please let me know in the comments below. I hope that you have a great day, a wonderful week, and stay cozy, my friends.